Here we are, it's Friday again, and as you can clearly see from my background, I'm working from home today. Normally in the summer months, I take a little bit more time to work from home. Obviously our schools would be super busy, um, so I tend to concentrate on other things uh, which don't involve me visiting schools or organizations, um, you know, because as I said, everyone is busy. So I take this time to perhaps look a little bit or think a little bit about the kinds of meetings, the kinds of discussions that I have with you throughout the year. And from that, I build these videos based on the conversations that I have. And a conversation that I had very recently, and it got me thinking because it involved questions that a lot of you ask me when we meet, when we speak, especially in relation to social media, is a conversation that I had with one of our schools um, and it revolved around the theme of video content. So basically the school was asking me about the kinds of videos that they can do and they were a little bit worried about the fact especially that you know, perhaps they're not well equipped to, to create video content for their schools and they thought that creating video content is super expensive and this involved a lot of um, equipment and expenses that perhaps they couldn't really afford. So today I decided, I said, just like I had this conversation with them, perhaps I should have this conversation here with you today so you can also see that creating video content is not as expensive and as technical as one might think. So one of the things we focused on in this conversation is that, first of all, you can create video content very easily with your phone. It is what I am doing over here. Obviously, ideally, you are in a place where there isn't a lot of background noise because when you are recording with a phone, the phone tends to pick up a lot of the background noise unless you have it connected to a microphone. But over there, you'll start increasing the expenses and the technology. But if you want to keep it super, super simple, all you need is to find a spot which is quiet, where the lighting is relatively good, um, and where, like I said, you don't have a lot of interruptions. Once you have that, one thing I suggest, especially if you are Mediterranean like me and you use your hands a lot as you are talking, is to put to buy a tripod. In my case, it is an old selfie stick which becomes, which turns itself into a tripod. Um, so like that, you make sure that your phone is static and you don't give motion sickness to anyone who's watching your videos. So all you need in terms of equipment is a phone with a relatively good camera and a selfie stick, which becomes a tripod. So the, the phone is stable. Then content. What do we speak about? How long should these videos be? I always say not longer than five or six minutes because people have a lot of things to do. People's attention span is not what it used to be a few years ago. And on top of that, we are nowadays used to watching influencer stories on Instagram and those that content is short. So keep your videos very very short not more than five minutes and my final point in relation to videos so that i practice what i preach and my also my videos stay within the five minute mark um the final point that i want to say is that in terms of content you can get students to speak about their experience you can get teachers to talk about you know the courses that they are delivering you can take your brochure look at the individual pages of your brochure and spend five minutes talking about each and every page so if you have 20 pages in your brochure you have 20 videos already if you post one of these videos a week that's you covered for a good five months so maximize on what you have don't reinvent the wheel and start experimenting with video content today I'll be back again next week with another video on what you can include in, um, in video content. Take care.